be aware how easy it is to circumvent controls such as access control or parental controls on a wireless home router. A lot of controls are based on a device's MAC address and by simply changing the MAC address, I can circumvent a lot of those controls. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to write a Python script that changes the MAC address of a Windows 10 computer. Why would you do this? Well, there are multiple reasons, but before I tell you that, please only use the script for ethical purposes. Don't go and get into trouble. As an example, you may be at the airport. They restrict your access to the internet to say 30 minutes. That's typically based on MAC address. If you change your MAC address, that allows you to access the internet for longer. So by simply changing your MAC address, you change the authentication used on a wireless network so that you can access the internet for longer. Another one is a lot of home devices will restrict access to the internet based on MAC address. If you change your MAC address to something else, you can bypass those filters. Now in this example, I've got two Windows laptops. I've got a Dell laptop and an Asus laptop. Those are the laptops that we're gonna to use to run our Python script to test that this actually works. So device on the left is a Dell, as you can see over here, Dell XPS 15. Device on the right is an Asus laptop, also running Windows 10. So I've got two Windows 10 laptops that I'm now gonna change the MAC address of using a simple Python script. I've added a lot of comments to the Python code. So rather than trying to manually type this and making this video an hour long, explaining every single line of code, I've put a lot of comments in the code so that you can see what the lines of code are doing. It'll really help you to learn Python. Python opens up a lot of doors for you. Python is one of those languages that I suggest you learn if you're interested in becoming an ethical hacker. It really allows you to do a whole bunch of things. In this example, it's gonna allow me to spoof my MAC address or change my MAC address once again. Now, before I talk about the script in a lot of detail, let me demonstrate what it does. So in my downloads directory on this Asus laptop, I've got the script change Mac final. Now you need Python installed on your computer. In this example, I've got Python 3.9.1. You either use the command Python or PY to start Python that depends on how you've installed Python and the version of Python that you're using. I've tested the script with various versions of Python. You can download the latest version of Python from python.org and it should work for you. Okay, so I'm gonna use PY, change Mac final. We prompted, make sure that you run the script with administrator privileges. You need administrator privileges to change the MAC address of an interface, so make sure that you run the script with administrator privileges. And that's something I haven't done here, so let me fix that by opening up command prompt and running command prompt as an administrator. So I'll go to my downloads directory. So C uses David downloads directory, and I'm gonna use pi change MAC address final. So on this script, I'll press control C to break out of it because I need to run the script with administrator privileges. So PY change Mac final. I'm running the script with administrator privileges and I'm connected to a wireless network. I'm connected to this Wi-Fi network. So I now need to select which Mac address to change. So to see that I'm gonna open up control panel there are various ways to see the MAC address of an interface, but for this example, I'll go to control panel and I'll double click on the wireless interface, click on details, and I can see the Wi-Fi MAC address. This is the Wi-Fi MAC address for my Realtek Wi-Fi adapter. Various other adapters are shown here, but the one that I want to change once again has a MAC address ending in 07B9. So that's this MAC address. So I'm gonna select three from the menu. I'm now prompted to select a MAC address to change this to. So for this example, I'll simply select zero and set it to this MAC address. 
Now make sure that you don't have multiple devices with the same MAC address on the same segment. If I set both these laptops to use the same MAC address, it's gonna cause problems. So make sure that you use unique MAC addresses on your segment. Okay, so I'm gonna select a zero here. I'm told that my MAC address will be changed to this. The script has successfully matched a transport number, that's good. I'm asked, do I wanna disable and re-enable my Wi-Fi network? I can press Y to make the change. So I'm gonna say Y to change it. MAC address is now being changed. You have to disable and re-enable the interface for the change to, to take place. So that's done it now, and the MAC address has successfully been changed. In control panel, I'll double click on the Wi-Fi interface, go to details, and you can see the MAC address has changed. Now the script prompts you to say yes to make a change to the Wi-Fi interface, because if you wanna change the MAC address of a physical interface, or another non-Wi-Fi interface, you don't wanna reset your Wi-Fi network, so then you would manually disable the interface and re-enable it. So perhaps in a future version of the script, I'll get it to change physical interfaces as well. At the moment, it only shuts and no-shuts Wi-Fi interfaces. So in this example, let's change this VMware interface. It has a MAC address of 02112223344455. That's because I previously changed it to use a MAC address in my script. But let's change that again to, let's say, dead beef. So specify four. That was successfully matched, but I'm not going to allow the script to shut and no-shut the Wi-Fi interface. What I'm gonna do is manually disable and re-enable this VMware interface. I'll double click, go to details, and you can see the MAC address is now 0A dead beef 01. So I've now shown you that I can change the MAC address of a Wi-Fi interface as well as another interface on this laptop. The Wi-Fi MAC address change is automated in that the script will shut and no-shut the interface if you say yes to continue to do that. But for a physical interface, you'd need to manually shut and no-shut the interface. Let's do the same thing on the Dell. So on the Dell at the moment, Get Mac shows me that this is the only interface that can be selected. But again, I need to run the script as an administrator. So I'm gonna run command prompt as an administrator. In this example, I've got the script in my temp directory. So DR, bunch of stuff here, but this is the script that I'm looking for. So I'll clear that and say Python, change MAC address final. Which MAC address do I wanna change? This is the only option I have. So I'm gonna select that just before I change that. Notice on my Wi-Fi adapter, that is the MAC address ending in EA68. So that's the MAC address that I wanna change. Press enter. Make sure you don't use a MAC address that's already been configured on your network. Again, make sure that you don't use a MAC address that's already being used on the same segment. So on my Asus laptop, the MAC address on the Wi-Fi network is 0A. So in this case, I'll select 0E, this MAC address. Now you can obviously change the MAC address to some other values if you like. These are just the defaults. So I'll select that. Do I wanna disable and re-enable my Wi-Fi interface? Yes, I do. So the interface is disabled and then re-enabled. And MAC address change was successful. So on my Wi-Fi network, go to properties, scroll down, you can see the MAC address was changed. Okay, so that's a demonstration of the script. Uh, let's talk about the script in more detail so that you can have an understanding of what the script's actually doing. I'm importing options such as subprocess. This will allow me to send commands to Windows and to change things within Windows as an example. I'm also importing WinReg because I wanna write information to the Windows registry, importing regular expressions, importing codecs. So 
First thing you need to do is make sure that you run the script with administrative privileges. If you don't have administrative privileges, it won't allow you to change the MAC address of a network interface card. And also make sure that your Wi-Fi adapter is connected to a network. Some of the Windows commands that we're gonna use in the script require that the network interface be connected to a wireless network. So as an example, one of the commands that we're gonna use is called get Mac. So on this laptop, get Mac shows me that this interface is disconnected. We are looking for this transport name, so the device needs to be connected to a network. As an example, if I look at the wireless network of this device, this device has this MAC address ending in B9. That is the physical MAC address of the wireless interface. If this interface is not connected to a wireless network, I won't be able to retrieve the transport name. So make sure that the wireless network that you want to change the MAC address of is connected to some network. Okay, so which MAC addresses do you want to use? you're gonna be prompted with a menu to select a MAC address. I've added some basic MAC addresses here. These will be part of the script that you can download using the link below. I've put a link to GitHub so that you can simply download the script rather than trying to copy it all down while I'm busy going through the script. But I've also added some additional MAC addresses for this demonstration, including 0A Dead Beef 01 and 0A Facebook 01. Something really important to be aware of is make sure that the second character in your MAC address is either 26A or E. So notice this character is either A or E or 2 or 6. If you don't do that, it often doesn't work on a Windows 10 device. So I would suggest that your first two characters are 0 and then either 26A or E. So set it to one of those. We're gonna create an empty list to store all the MAC addresses. So you can add additional MAC addresses to this list if you want to. Either edit these existing MAC addresses or add your own. We're adding regular expressions. We're looking at the transport names. And again, I'm not gonna bore you going through all the commands because all the documentation is here. But notice we're using the get MAC command as I demonstrated over here. So this is on the one computer and this is on the Dell, get Mac. As you can see, these interfaces don't work. This is the only interface working, and that's because if I go to Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings, notice that these interfaces are disabled, and this one isn't connected, so we see this information. We need to have the interface connected once again to see the transport name. We're gonna use the transport name to search the registry so that we can change the MAC address of a network interface card. So the script loops through the output of the get MAC command. It's finding a MAC address, it's finding the transport name. We create a menu to ask the user to select the MAC address that they wanna change. That's what we asked over here, and then it displays the various MAC addresses and their transport names. So notice we are printing the MAC address and the transport name in the menu over here. And then we ask the user to select the menu item corresponding to the MAC address that they wanna change, and that's what we've got over here. That allows us to store that information in a variable. And then we're asking which MAC address do you wanna use? This will change the network card's MAC address. And notice that is displaying the various MAC addresses that were created up here. You could add additional MAC addresses here if you wanted to or change these MAC addresses. Just remember that the second character should be a two or a six or an A or an E. So we create the menu with the MAC addresses, and then we prompt the user to select the MAC address that they wanna use. So that's what we've got over here. I selected five in this example, and then we print out that the MAC address will be changed. And that's what we're showing over here. Your MAC address will be changed to the following. We have got an if statement to make sure that a valid selection was selected. 
if a valid selection was selected, we need to write information to the registry. So this is where the MAC address needs to be written to the registry. I've created this PowerPoint presentation, which shows you how you could manually change the MAC address if you wanted to by going into the Windows registry. But obviously here we automating it. But if you did open up the Windows registry, you could go to this part of the Windows registry and then you'd be able to change the MAC address. So with WinReg, we are looking for the correct value because there are multiple folders. So in the Windows registry, once again, we've got a whole bunch of folders. We are gonna be looking for this part of the transport name. So if I find that, you can see that it's found it in 003 for this specific MAC address. And notice here, I've added the network address key to change the MAC address of this network interface. So it's gonna look through the folders. It's gonna look for the net CFG instance ID, which matches this transport name, and then we can add the network address to that folder. So over here, we're going to write that registry key with the new MAC address to the registry. And then we're gonna prompt the user to find out if they wanna disable or re-enable their wireless network card. So in the script, we've got this prompt here, and then we specify yes or no. If the user selects yes, this part of the code will run where we shut the network interface down and then re-enable it. But notice we are only doing that for wireless interfaces. So it's only gonna disable the wireless interface. If you've got multiple wireless interfaces or you wanna disable the interface of a physical interface or a virtual interface such as a VMware interface, then press no so that you manually disable and re-enable the interface. Okay, I've put a lot of comments in the code. You can also download the code from GitHub. So I'm not gonna to spend too long going through all the output. Have a look on GitHub. If you have any questions about the code, please add comments below this video or add them on GitHub and then we can answer them that way. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm gonna create a whole bunch of these Python sort of ethical hacking videos if you enjoy them and share code so that you can use them in the real world. Use this for ethical hacking purposes only. I'm David Bumble, wanna wish you all the very best.